Hey there, it's James and once again, as you can tell, I built this interesting replica motor. It's not technically a Lego motor and it's only available on a few websites, but it was priced around $120, which is not too bad. And it taught me a lot about patience, that's for sure. So I had to do a few modifications to get this to work. Um, I had to cut the drive shaft because it wasn't at the proper length. And then on one side here, I had to take out the gearing because it was just meshing too much. And then the other side, the gearing, um, I had to make some modifications as well to get all the three crankshafts to turn properly. So it wasn't exactly easy. Um, if it was tuned and it was a proper kit, which worked right out of the box, then I would say this probably would only take eight hours. Um, so another thing too is that people are probably wondering, well, what does this resemble? And I would say that this is pretty close to a Napier Deltic with a triangular configuration. The only difference is, is that this is not a continuous block and the opposed pistons are not at the right depth of this model. And obviously it doesn't run on diesel fuel. So if I ever had enough money, um, I would start a motor collection and I would try to buy Clint Tomlinson's replica of Napier Deltic because it's quite a bit more sophisticated. There are actually machine parts in his model. Other than that, I would say that this type of motor will not be produced in today's world because it is very complex. And as I found out just with a Lego replica model that this, the gearing in this is very, very complicated. and. Even if you could pull off the timing and get all the crankshafts to go in sync, there's probably a failure point in the gearing somewhere. 
But other than that, I would probably say that the CAT C32 engine could easily displace this engine for the power to weight ratio. So what do you think? Was this a fun thing to watch build? Uh, let me know in the comments and please like the video if you enjoyed watching this build. Okay, see you in the next one.